It's a Loteria themed brewery bringing the craft brew experience to people all over DFW. Stephanie takes us there. As a Latina myself, I love finding places that introduce our Hispanic heritage to communities everywhere. And this brewery right here in Dallas is doing just that. Let's go inside and find out more about them. We have been uh, brewing in Dallas since uh, 2012. We actually launched in November of 12, so we're coming up on our 10th year, and 10th year anniversary. And um, just been brewing in Dallas uh, for, for that length of time. Uh, started out in uh, West Dallas, was our first home, uh, over in the La Bajada neighborhood. And um, started there, we thought we'd be there for 10 years and outgrew the space in, in five. Uh, moved over to the Cedars in 2017 and been here ever since. So the visuals around here, it's, it's, it borrows a lot from Loteria as natives of Dallas and, and you know, growing up in kind of the West Dallas Oak Cliff neighborhoods, this is kind of you know, what, we, what we see and how we celebrate uh, our fiestas at, at home. So um, we want to reflect that as part of our community and, and, um, and reflect that out to uh, our you know, people, invite them to, to Four Corners through visuals, through our beer. And um, Loteria seemed to, seem to make a lot of sense um, from a visual standpoint for beer. We brewed many different beers. Um, we wanted all our beers to kind of have their own story, but also look like a, a family at the same time. And so we borrowed heavily from uh, Loteria theme. We wanted to, uh, to have an invitation for Latinos to come and, and, uh, and learn about craft beer. Four Corners was really about bringing communities together. A part of it was, again, bringing Latinos into craft beer, which I, I'd say craft brewers hadn't really invited Latinos to, to be a part of the party. At the same time, there are things that, you know, in our culture that um, that we want to highlight to people who weren't aware of it. We're really grateful for the support of our community. Um, it's helped us to grow. Um, again, we've uh, had a really strong growth trajectory over the you know, past 10 years. Uh, we are distributed across the state of Texas and um, and just uh, really uh, trying to get our beers out to, to more and more people, turn more people on to uh, all that we do here at Four Corners Brewing. So some of the ways we bring, you know, Loteria and language and culture together is, you know, some of our best-selling beers are El Gris, El Grito Lager, uh, really like tasting beer. Uh, you can enjoy it uh, much like a, a, you know, a traditional Mexican lagers, but we brew it here in the States. We've had other beers called El Super V uh, that has a, a little mascara. For us, it's it's a joy to be able to express ourselves and our, our Latino side to, to people and um, and just bring some more awareness to uh, to Hispanic culture. Um, for events, look, we look at ourselves as a community center. We want to support those that support us. Weekly, there are events. You can check us out on uh, fcbrewing.com for all of our upcoming events. We do uh, Viernesito, which is a uh, first Friday event and pop-up markets um, uh, three times a month and we bring in vendors and from the local area and they you know sell whatever uh, items that they're, they're they're selling here in our in our tap room um, we also host um, you know some nonprofit organizations uh, when they have to have meetings or they want to have host um, fundraisers uh, we host them here so we have uh, plenty of space uh, for for our community and we you know, do a lot of community outreach here The best part about Four Corners is you can come in, taste some, find your favorite, and if you find a favorite, you can buy it at any store all across Texas. But I do encourage you to come in because it's a lot of fun. And if you want more information on Four Corners, you can head to our website at CW33.com. Yeah.